Scorpio part two. Okay. So sorry guys, it cut off on me. Uh, like I said, in your part one at the end, you guys will be brilliant. You will think more with your head and not your heart. You have experienced certain things and you will use humor. You'll look at the past as being humorous. You gain that knowledge and you're just going to laugh it off now. You're going to use your intuition on the things, the knowledge you gain from the past and move forward. Some of you guys will be taking a speedy action, okay, towards something that you want. Um, this could be an activity. You could be multitasking as well. You could be communicating with someone. Uh, heavy fire energy out here. So you're definitely dealing with a fire sign, I see. You could be dealing with an air sign as well. We have uh, an earth sign, okay. Pisces energy, yes. You guys will have the wisdom, with this High Priestess card, we have, you guys will be using your intuition. You have gained the knowledge uh, from a past situation, and you're going to be thinking more clearly now. You're using your head over your heart, okay? So you have the wisdom, and you will be making decisions based off your intuition. You guys will have the patience as well. So whatever it is that you guys are focused on and you guys are wanting at this time, I do see that you guys will be having um, the patience in a situation. This, like I said, some of you guys are dealing with fire signs or a relationship, the signs that I had called out. We have the lover's card here. So definitely a partnership you guys could be more stable in, okay? You will have happiness in this partnership. Your wishes will come true. So think with your head and not your heart. Take that past experience and uh, hold it as it's, you know, it's knowledge, okay? So everything happens for a reason. Uh, your spirit guides gave you that knowledge and that heartbreaking situation so that you guys can move forward in a healthy way. Uh, what to do next time and what not to do next time, all right? And how people treat you is, you know, on their part okay so you guys need to make sure you understand that this time and take that wisdom set healthy boundaries if moving forward now scorpio if this is you um doing this to someone this person is was crying over spilt milk and i see them coming out of this energy as well okay so but i'm mainly focused on your guys's energy right now so uh, yeah, so emotions with this ace of water, we have relationships and you're using your intuition with making healthy changes. Okay, so you guys will be content. You'll be very independent. I see money coming towards you. Um, for those of you that are, this is a work situation, I see you guys very focused. You are focused on the details, whatever it is that you guys are creating at this time, whatever you're investing with the seven of earth, you guys are having the patience. You are getting the skills, the knowledge. You're very focused to detail with whatever it is. And I do see prosperity coming to you from this. Um, you guys will be going through a renewal, a rebirth. You're going to have a, a selfie evaluation and you're going to be looking at yourself as what it is you want and what it is you don't want okay so your angels are definitely helping you with that so bring in um good things for you getting you guys out of your head healing focusing on love self-love yes i do see the knight of swords out here or the three of or Three of air, which is the three of swords. Um, you guys went through some type of heartache, uh, breakups. You guys will be forgiving the situation and healing and moving on. Now, that's up to you, either with a person or without a person. But I do see healing. Um, you're going to be using your intuition to make beneficial changes in this relationship that you, you guys are in. Okay, so you guys will be... Uh, let bygones be bygones and not holding resentment and moving forward in a healthy way, having your wishes come true in a love situation, or you will be letting a person go and you will be moving on healthy by yourself as well. And you guys will be forgiving a situation and moving forward. So with this ace of earth, I see that you guys definitely have abundance and opportunity and plenty of resources coming into your life. So you don't have to worry about that. So some of you guys feel like um, if a relationship, let's say a spouse held all the finances, um, you guys feel like you could be burdened by 
uh, all the finances and the cleaning and the cooking and the kids and having a full-time job and trying to pay bills. I do see that you guys, this, you feel like you're going to be over, over, or you're going, you guys are going to feel stressed out, overworked and imbalanced. Okay. So, um, your angels want you to know that that's not the case. You'll have abundance in your life. You have opportunity and you have plenty of resources coming in for you. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that situation. You will be having, you will be getting over the past. You're going to take it as a lesson and you're going to be mo moving forward. Okay, sorry. My son is making a little noise. Yeah, so we have the six of earth. So this is generosity. Some of you guys will have a windfall of money with whatever it is that you guys are invested in. If it's work, if you guys came up with some type of creative idea, I do see that you guys will have a uh, windfall. Uh, some of you guys are worried about um, making it on your own. I do see that there are pl plenty of Plenty of opportunities and resources coming your way as well. Uh, charity, someone may help you out and get you on your feet and that's okay. You know, you guys will have that help if you're looking for it, okay? So all you have to do is ask and you shall receive, okay? So there's plenty of opportunities. Yes, so you guys are prepared. I do see with this nine of fire, you guys are prepared. You guys could be in uh, like a protection mode right now, but you're ready to get back out there and you will be prepared. Okay, so you guys will be prepared to take on the world. And your angels are right there with you. Yes, because you guys are holding some type of resentment. Um, you guys could have been looking at someone as a past mistake some of you guys are um ready to make new moves and get back out there and you guys are having self-protection and you're prepared to do this and because of that mistake made you're taking it as knowledge gained and you are moving forward um if this is in a relationship you have the inspiration and you will be communicating and making adjustments in your relationship on what it is that you guys are saying as well to each other. Um, you guys will come up with like healthy balance. Yes. So you guys will be taking action with, we have the fire energy again out here, Aries Leo Sagittarius. So this could be um, you getting into a relationship with a Aries Leo Sagittarius person or I see you communicating and making some type of adjustment um, you're taking action into an opportunity and you're being very creative with it so if this is love I see you um, forgiving whatever situation let bygones be bygones but you guys will be a little protected and you feel as though like there's some type of resentment that you're holding against a person, but I see you making adjustments with the way you communicate and taking action towards a person. With this four earth card, I see that you guys will be having uh, control. Okay, so there's no more, um, maybe you guys popped off the mouths and said the wrong thing in your connection. Okay, so maybe you... Um, what you guys were just saying, whatever it is you felt, I see you holding back and you guys are having more control. Some of you guys, this could be with finances as well. Some of you guys will be saving your money for those of you that are not, um, invested in anything at this time. I see you guys, uh, saving your money and you are not overspending. You are saving at this time. Okay. You guys will be the knight of earth okay so you're being more responsible within your finances you're being more organized but for those of you that are getting seeking the help i do see that you will have uh you will have support system coming to you some of you guys will be uh more romantic more emotional within your balance you'll be supportive within your connection so if you do decide to take a certain person back, I see you being organized, responsible, more supportive in your connection. I see you guys being more romantic and emotional and you will end up um, 
Now this could be with a fire sign. Again, we do have the king of fire out here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You guys will be more charismatic and inspirational or this person will be towards you. Uh, by you changing your ways, it's going to make your relationship beneficial to where there's healthy changes and you guys move forward in a healthy way. Okay, I see you guys being prosper prosperous. You guys will be generous with whatever it is you have. Uh, and you'll be successful, okay? So no more holding back, you guys. Yeah, you guys were holding back. Uh, sorry, guys, I have a flyer. It fell on the floor. I'm not sure where. Oh. So, yeah, I see you guys um, being more prosperous and, and successful in whatever it is that you're doing. Some of you guys, uh, you felt like there was some type of comp competition in your life and someone you know better now to, if this, if for those of you that resonate with this, that you will be walking away from whoever this person is. I see that you guys will be prepared to move forward by yourselves. You are going to be protecting yourself. You're looking at the past as, okay, I, you know, I'm seeing where it went wrong and I will make adjustments in my next situation because I could have, you know, helped with the situation as well. There were conflicts and some type of relationship that you had, some type of competition and conflicts. And now you guys are, with the seven of air, you guys are um, aware of, and you're, you're using caution. You're being cautious now. So you guys are aware and you know what to look for and what to look, you know, what's going on up in your head, causing those illusions. And now you know um, if there was some type of competition and conflicts and annoyances in your relationship, I do see that you're aware now of what it is, um, how you guys spoke to each other. I see that you guys are, you're aware of the consequences of one's actions as well. I'm going to give you one more and then I'm going to close it out. Oh, perfect. But I see you, yes, prosperity, celebration. You guys will have prosperity with this four of fire out here. You're going to be um, prosperous. You will be content in whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, you could be celebrating in a relationship. Now, lots of fire energy out here. You guys could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius person. So I do see that the relationship uh, will work out for some. You guys are forgiving the past, letting it go, and you're moving forward by yourself. You are done with the conflicts and the competition, and you are aware of you know what this person brought. Um, this person could have stole from you behind your back. This person could have used you for, you know, something and, you know, brought competition into your life. Okay. So I do see you guys, regardless of if you're getting back with someone, I do see some of you getting back with someone and being happy about it. Some of you guys will be moving forward and you guys will be celebrating. Okay. So yeah. All right. Scorpio, I'm going to close it out right there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.